Welcome to this Radisys 5G solution demo. Radisys, along with ARM, plays an integral part in the evolving 5G ecosystem. As part of this ARM 5G Summit, we'll demonstrate capabilities in 5G NR deployments with solutions that enable flexible design options, 3G PP split 6 design, and a combined RUDU unit with the small cell also known as AIO or All-in-One. In this demo, we'll be showing the overall TNW-based Qualcomm FSM 10055 and a Radisys DU and CU MMWave Femto solution running in non-standalone mode. In this diagram, the end-to-end -end 5G NR setup is being demonstrated, starting all the way from the left describing the Radisys CU and DU running on TNW hardware, which is based on NXP2160 NPU, Qualcomm FSM 10055 running MMWave Qualcomm L1, another Qualcomm FSM9955 running LTE as the master E node B, and the Radisys EPC hosted on another server. A couple of key points to note during this demonstration. This is 5G NR non-standalone mode with MM Wave, and the 3G PP configurations are MU3, TDD, N261 band, 100 MHz and 3CC or carrier aggregation, 64 QAM based on Qualcomm 5G FR1.6 L1. The demo scenario will walk through the attachment and detachment with iPerf data over the air with a Samsung S20. Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to demonstrate our NSA solution. And let me explain a little bit about our uh, setup. So here we can see uh, this is InnoDB tab where InnoDB is already running. Then we have iPerf DL and UL. And we have S20 UE here. So let me let me start. I'm starting CU binary. So CU binary is started now. I'm starting DU binary now. Yes, now we can see G node B cell is up and we can see there are three cells are up. Uh, this is because actually we have we are trying to run three CC. So let me start a UE attach. I'm attaching the S20 UE now. Uh, U is attached to 4G. We can see there is one 4G symbol over here. So let me trigger SGNB addition for this UV. So U has attached to 5G cell now. We can see it. This is a little small, but uh, yeah, U is attached to 5G cell. Uh, 